What's the secret behind the unjust, unconditional support of Western regimes to the so-called State of Israel, despite its crimes? Because Israel works for those Western regimes. It has a job to do, and it does it very well. It keeps the Arabs divided and weak, the better for the big powers which founded Israel and sustain it to steal their things. That's the job of Israel. It does it. The question is, really, why the, less, the rest of us allow it to happen. I'm going to be traveling on my uh, convoy through Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt. I hope to get the pulse of the Arab people in the Maghreb and in the great Egypt on our way to Gaza. Well, the, the issue of individuals taking responsibility is one I'm concentrating on now because we're not going to persuade the kind of people that we just saw on the screen, uh, Sadiq Khan, the new Labour minister, we're not going to persuade them to care about Palestine. We have to do it. We have to boycott all Israeli products in whichever shop they are sold. We don't need to boycott any particular shop. We should boycott Israeli products in all shops. And of course, if people stop drinking Coca-Cola and smoking Marlboro and putting SO into their tank, that would certainly make an impact on American imperialism too. But we should take it one step at a time. Let's boycott all Israeli products and let's start doing something for the Palestinian people. You are in Glasgow. The first fire engine on the convoy came from Glasgow. The second from Tayside. The third from uh, Manchester. We're beginning to pick up steam. See what you can do to help us. Go to vivapalestina.org on the internet. Given that Israel has deliberately ignored the UN resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire, it also continues to use illegal weapons to attack citizens and various UN buildings, all in full and open view of the international community, do you think it is now time for the countries of the world to expel their Israeli ambassadors? Yes, I do. It's long past time. In fact, the only two countries to do so were Hugo Chavez in Venezuela and Evo Morales in Bolivia. And we should uh, salute uh, and, uh, and uh, hail these actions that were taken from so far away. But there are Israeli ambassadors in other Arab countries nearby, and that's the biggest disgrace of the lot. One of the good things is that so many people saw what was happening, and one of the reasons for that was the heroic work of the press TV crews under shell fire, under bombardment in Gaza. Press TV has become a real feature of this conflict. People have been turning to it in droves to learn the truth, and it's done a magnificent job, and I'm proud to be associated with it because of that. Thank you very much indeed. I would like to say to you personally, Mr. George Galloway, that your love for justice and truth might make you a target for an evil act by an evil person. I urge those who love the truth and justice to pray for your safety. May Allah protect you, Mr. George Galloway. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you very much, uh, madam. I am going on a hazardous trip, but I fear no one other than God. And if uh, God will protect me, I uh, will continue to use the breath that he gave me to cry out for justice. But I could do with your prayers as well, that's uh, for sure. Uh, the war crimes are now beginning to emerge, even in the Western media. The use of illegal weapons, white phosphorus, depleted uranium, the bombing of United Nations installations, the destruction of 61,000 homes, schools, clinics, hospitals are all now on our television screens, even on the uh, screens of the mainstream broadcasters here in the United Kingdom. The BBC continues to disgrace itself, having refused to allow a disasters emergency committee commercial to be aired on the BBC because they thought it was biased in favor of the Palestinians, even though all the other broadcasters were ready to broadcast it. That's why we are demonstrating outside the BBC on Saturday in Portland Place in London. 